All right, welcome to uh, this episode of the Call Me By Your Game video podcast. Uh, mm-hmm. Today we have our very special guest, Vic Michaelis. Hey, y'all. I'm excited. I'm, I'm nervous. Very, you know, you you did breathe a heavy sigh of exasperation, but you said excited, which I'm so happy about. I'm like, I it's it's that idea where excitement and nervousness lives yes. on the same plane. Yeah. Um, and I do feel like that. That's fair. They are kind of dueling. It's a duality. I yeah. don't even know what I'm trying to say. It's a duality. It's a duality. Yeah. That feels right and fair. It is. And it is right and fair. And you'll be you'll be great. And I'll be great. Okay. Yeah. Well, you're going to be great. Yes. I have no doubt uh, about this that. This is my seventh video episode. So wow. uh, okay. I'm pretty, <laughs> pretty I'm huge. a well-oiled machine at this point. Um, thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for having uh, me. The game that uh, Vic wanted to talk about for the episode is Batman Arkham Asylum. Yeah. So we're going to be playing... Uh, through a little bit of that to do this little episode of course if you are tuning in now and haven't listened to the audio portion that's fine when you're done listen to the audio portion can i just say something yes, crazy for a second really quick yeah. um my eye has been twitching like crazy and yes. i didn't know i was going to be on video today, that's okay so i just want like if people are like oh Is my that god what what's going on cool. with fix eye? that's what's happening that's thank you for saying something <sighs> i think i'm stressed i don't yeah. know um i'm good i'm <laughs> hey, happy you, i'm it, nervous it was a journey to get here today <laughs> i'm excited yes yeah. it was a journey so it's okay if you're feeling that way hey thank you Connor. i'll let the guests know if my eye starts twitching too Thank you. I appreciate that. And hey, I might even let them know if it's not just to make you feel welcome. You're an ally. Thank you very much. Okay. Can you say that uh, over and over throughout the podcast? No, I can't. Okay, cool. Uh, we're going <laughs> to play Batman Arkham Asylum. Uh, I So if you want, in fact, Vic, this is, I'll just put you in the driver's seat. Oh, Here you are. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, we're, uh, this is, we're playing on the PS4. I always like to be straightforward with the audience and let them know what specs we're playing on. Because they sure. really are concerned about it. The graphics on this are still great. Yeah, it's beautiful. And this might even be like a remastered version slightly so maybe it's a little better do you think like when would they have remastered this i don't know maybe it's in the all well, it says 2016 okay 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 so not that long yeah. ago because i feel like i was playing this game like 2012 okay it was earlier it, 2011 maybe you could have been because it is it first off this all this math checks out because it came out in 2009 so all the okay. dates are thrown out you are you're hitting those check boxes. It might have even been earlier than that. Yeah, it yeah. might have been like 2010. Wow. 2011, 2010. Um, I until last night have never played this game. I, really? It's on. So I was asking you earlier if you and, and Brandon had a PlayStation because mm-hmm. I was very fortunate to be gifted a PlayStation this year. Oh, congratulations! Uh, thank you. It was it was a really nice thing, and I'm so happy because I easy. I've only ever really had <laughs> Nintendo consoles. So this was like my first. Like, what are we talking? What did you start out on? So I, when I, for, for as far back as I can remember, we had a regular Nintendo. Okay. We never had a Super Nintendo. Mm-hmm. And then we got a Nintendo 64. Uh, I've been lucky to have every Nintendo home console. And I think I've had every handheld too. That's incredible. Did yeah. you have, um, was Nintendo uh, the PSP? That was PlayStation. Right. Did that you makes ha- sense. Hey, that's, that's a PlayStation. okay. <laughs> yes, PlayStation Portable. <laughs> PlayStation Portable. Um, yeah, but that was the first like, other than like the Game Boy, uh, like the the colors or the uh, uh, advanced or the, or the advanced. Like that was the first like smart one that I remember yes. having. Yeah. Smart as in like a uh, like a good choice for you to have, or smart as in like because you can watch movies on that oh, too. Yes. Was the big thing. Oh yeah, you can get the little like movie yeah. discs, and I remember we watched uh, Dark Crystal. Oh like, my that was gosh, the one that we really? Had, we would just watch over they and had over a, again. That's so surprising to me that they would have that on the PSP. I know that's it was funny. so weird. How beautiful is it? This looks really good. Honestly, so do you remember this? Is this coming back to you, or is it like no? I kind of vaguely remember this opening scene. Yes, I absolutely do because I think um, I would get. So, like, this was a somebody I was dating played a lot of video games. And so yeah. I remember watching this one a lot. And he was very gracious to allow me to choose what game I could watch. Oh, yeah. That sounds very gracious. And so <laughs> this was one that I liked because it's it was like the story was Looks fun. like Hogwarts a little bit. It does look like Hogwarts a little bit. Okay. Here we go. So is... Here we go! Is <laughs> you... So I know you told me that this person let you watch them play this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you ever... Is this the first time you've ever played this game? Um, I got to play a little bit okay. sometimes. But cool. honestly, for... This is... This will be the most time I've ever wow. logged on this, this game. This is... For sure. This is great. 
I love that. I was talking to someone the other day, and they were like, "Oh, I want to come on and do this game. I never played it, but it changed my life. And I was like, well, guess we'll consider that. I mean, it does yeah. make sense to me, because totally. this is like, when I think of video games, and when I think of a time in, I think that it's like, it's very reminiscent of a time in my life. And now that we're talking about it, I think this would have been like 2009, 2010. I was cool. dating this person on and off for like a year and a half or something mm -hmm. like that. And this is what I remember most about that relationship. Is okay. that sad? No. You take <laughs> away no, it's not sad. You take away certain things from different relationships. It was a very influential time in my life. And this is I, I don't know, like when I do think about this relationship, it's funny and because it was the game that I thought of immediately yeah. when you said that. I was like, "Oh, you did have an immediate reaction." And I've played a lot of other video yeah, games a lot more, but this was the one where like when we were talking about it. Okay. And you can already move with the with the left stick. Oh, we are in yeah. the game here. Oh, oh yeah. baby, look at this. Look at it. <laughs> you know what I, one thing I noticed while playing, so it's on basically the Netflix for PlayStation. It's called PlayStation Now. It's not exactly Netflix, but um, this is on there. Is so, it really? Yeah, and I have that. Is that so, what we're playing on right now? He actually, he owns it. Gotcha. Yeah, so we're playing his copy, um, but yeah, I got to try this out last night, and one thing that immediately I was in love with was how... I f it responds really well to your, at least not right now because I think it was only letting you walk a certain speed, but you can walk very slow or very fast Even and it responds now, like, really I'm well. Even now, I'm slowing down quite a bit. Oh, we're going into the mist. This is not good. Oh, no. I actually remember what happens here, I think. Let's see. Oh, boy. So, at least as far as the story of this game goes right now, Batman has captured the Joker somehow uh -huh. and is taking him to Arkham. And I guess we're gonna see what happens. And it's, we're gonna figure it out. I think you can figure it out. It's probably not gonna go good for Batman. No, not with me. The Batman. Home. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to zoom. All right, come on. This is the one thing that I do remember about this game and why I liked watching, but I think is like tough when you're getting started. Is we're talking a lot of story pieces yes absolutely like we're literally just the action i'm allowed to do is just follow him oh slowly. yeah i was thinking about that uh what playing this game last night especially when so when we do these video episodes mm -hmm. half the time this is kind of what they're they like, like is like us following the beginning of the story where it's not really giving you freedom until we're almost done with the episode but that makes sense like why people like it so much is yeah because we're just slowly like there's so much story that it builds into it and then like you're so much more invested yes. than other stuff like even with the pokemon games like you spend so much of the first like uh, a few minutes of the game talking to your mom and yes yeah. <laughs> going and getting something and then you got to say goodbye to your mom which you she's a delight but too. can we move on yeah yeah honestly okay here we go there we go. Yeah, you can't even speed up to get past him to talk to this of guy. Course. I think I was fall. Oh, I was following far behind, so I was really having fun just like walking. Oh, bearing up that speed. Let's see how far. Look how we ripped can get. he is. He is enormous. Turn this is around. a big Batman. Look at that. Like those biceps are crazy. <laughs> we didn't end up with like that Batman with like the junk cup. You know yeah. what I'm talking <laughs> yes. about? Yes. And no nipples. Oh yeah, no, not even like a. Oh, okay. No nipple Batman. Okay, that's fine. It's a personal Change choice, I guess. That POV. Oh, you're right. Walking further behind is. I mean, at least I guess. Slight. What's the point of getting this close? Too close. close. All right, let's see. Just gotta check your prisoner, Officer Bowles. This game, Whatever. and I'll probably want to. I'll probably bring this up on that other show too. <laughs> uh, was one thing I thought was really cool, which I've seen a lot of other people express the same thing, is that this game made people feel like Batman. Yeah. Um, which I don't, I don't know if you've heard of the new Spider-Man game that came out on PlayStation yes. last year, but si similar thing. And I actually I played through a lot of that this summer, and I was like, oh, any, it's it's very immersive. It really makes you just feel like that superhero, which I thought was really cool. Well, and what's interesting is this game would have come out around the same time as Dark Knight. Yes. Am I crazy? No, you're a year after Dark Knight. And so I think it also, you know, there was like a thing with like. 
I mean, not to generalize, but like mm. young men of our generation, I think that were felt very connected to Batman. Like that feels oh, like yeah. the superhero that people were like very, very into. And I think that probably games like this, where you get to spend a lot of time being Batman, is part of the reason why, along with the film franchise. Does yeah. that feel crazy to say? No, that, I think that makes a lot of sense. It was Bat. Those movies. No, I mean they were really good and critically acclaimed. I think for a- absolutely for a reason I love them, mm-hmm. but they also reached like a wider audience right. because it was like, I don't know, it was. Keep it probably had to do with the grittiness of those movies. Time. Absolutely, like that was a real strength of what is that guy behind? Is that like an okay. alligator? It will not let me see. Whoa! Oh boy! Here we go. That's a big guy. It also deals with like the real like duality of humanity, where like nobody's all good, nobody's all bad. Yes, this game does, Batman. or that movie. I think Batman in general. Yeah. Um, but this game, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I think it. I totally move past your point, but I think you're right. That did have something to do with why this game was so popular. And this isn't exactly like a. This isn't ripped from The Dark Knight, obviously. That's a different Joker. It's not Heath Ledger. Do you know who voices the Joker? Mark Hamill. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Isn't that incredible? Because he had that, like, gnarly... It was a car accident, wasn't it? Or a motorcycle accident? I don't accident or remember. Like that. Did he have an accident? Yeah, there was something that had happened where he didn't end up doing a lot of, like, uh, traditional film and television anymore, but then, like, really moved into the voiceover oh, sector. Oh, yeah. It's really cool. Were you a fan of the comics at all? No. Are you a I comic fan at all? Barely. Oh, Connor, I, I'm i going to set you up with some comics. One, like, Killing Joke is really great. Oh, um, thank you. There's a there's a bunch of them you should absolutely Not check out for this. But then just on top of that, uh, shout out to like Essex County is really yeah. incredible. There's a bunch of them. Saga is one that everybody loves. Are these bat specific, like Batman stories in a several comics? The last like two are not even Batman related. Oh, <laughs> those are just com- uh, Killing Joke is a Batman one. Yes. Um, and there's a I mean there's so many great ones. I'm gonna set you up with thank you with a couple. Well, if you like video games, you're gonna love comics. Yeah. This it took it took me 29 years to get uh to get into the comic game, but I did it. And here we are. Thank you, Vic. Call me by your comic name. Call me by your comic name. (laughs) (laughs) And we're still on the credits here, which you gotta appreciate. Mm -hmm. There we played. Yeah. This is the thing I'm always toying with when we're doing these video episodes. I'm like, oh, do I need to? Should I play through the opening title to let people start at the real fun? I mean, like, part of it is, one, for me, is somebody that, um, again, like, didn't spend a ton of time playing this game, and now, ooh. Yeah. I forgot about this. It's kind of a tease, though. Because I knew the plot of this game when I played it, started playing it last night, and I was like, oh, this is when he breaks out, but. (sighs) He doesn't. This is a real tease. toying with us. What? Don't you trust me? Kind of misdirect, but fun. There was also supposed to be a Dark Knight game that Electronic Arts was making. No way. But it went so poorly that the company who owned the rights to it, after the game got scrapped, they gave the rights to this small development team called Rocksteady. Right. They're a British company, and they made this game, which was kind of like between the comics and the Christopher Nolan Oh, what a gift. Because it's a similar similar feel of Batman with kind of like that grittiness, but also like... Batman is net good in all of those movies as opposed to and I think that that's why he's so attractive to so many people Mm -hmm. Uh, whereas I think maybe with um, Ben Affleck's Batman for me at least that's maybe what's missing is like Mm -hmm. he's gritty but I don't feel like he's net good necessarily sure I didn't see those and is that from those two movies the The uh, Batman vs Superman and the did you see those (sighs) yeah yeah and Whatever. In Justice League. Yeah, Justice League. I mean, really not great. Yeah. I read a little article about the new Batman because Robert Pattinson's going to be playing him. Yeah, how do you feel about that? Uh, it feels super out of left field for me, but maybe they're trying to do something new. Yeah. I just, he's so, I always think of him as a very gaunt, skinny guy, and that's the thing I can't get past, which is like, that shouldn't be it. It's so weird, but also if you're going to like do something fun and new and you're going to reinvent this character that's been reinvented like now three times in yeah. ten years, why wouldn't you just take a huge swing and do something mm-hmm. like surprising? As opposed to just like a slight tilt to a different kind of 
like similar character yeah hmm. or and actor I, or portrayal or whatever i think too like uh, what did you th- did you see the new joker movie no i didn't see that either I have beef with the new Joker movie for okay. a few reasons, but my biggest thing was it doesn't feel like the Joker from the comic books, and it's such a beloved character mm-hmm. um, that regardless of performance, I mean, uh, you know, you, you take away from that. But uh, not to take away from yeah. the performance that he did or anything like that. You know, he's a great actor, but... Uh, I don't know, there's like specific things in the Joker, like the madness is kind of what's fun about the Joker, sure. and it makes too much sense why he is the way he is. Okay. Um, and I think... Uh, oh, here you get into it. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Ah, there we Just go. I forgot about, this. this is my favorite part of all of this, is the slow motion... Where it like slows down briefly. Yeah, and Ooh. then you get to look at that. The combat is pretty cool. I thought it was cool at least. There's not. It's pretty. It felt simple. Oh. But what I liked playing it last night was that it feels like it could, it flows pretty well. Like you don't like. It's not too clunky. No. Yeah. And I think it's it is a game that is somewhat built for people. Okay, where do I go from here? Oh, more guys. Here we go. But it is like a, it's a game that anybody can get into and play. Yeah. Yeah, you kind of can't, it's, yeah, it's pretty accessible. And we're right now, I guess, in the learning phase of it. It's so new. Even when I left off last night, which is probably like, I don't know, 40, 45 minutes of gameplay. I, of course, didn't have all his upgrades or anything, but I... I had just learned to use, like, detective mode and to, like, glide. Oh, that's so fun. The yeah. gliding is really, really fun. Which my first, the first time I tried to do it, I definitely did not hold X, so you, like, fly, you fall off the platform if you don't do that. Okay. I wonder if he, I can't remember if that gate opens or if there's, like, a switch that you hit somewhere. We're looking at the Riddler's room here. Ooh, is he in this game? I don't remember. I'm being perfectly honest. That's okay. Thank you for being honest, by the way. You're welcome. Appreciate that. I never lie to you, Connor. Thank you. I've said that from the beginning. You, say, you <laughs> say it a lot. And we don't interact so much to where you need to say that all the mm-hmm. time. I think we, when I first met you, I think like truly oh, the first like eight or nine times that I met you, it was just a bit. We had like a running bit of something. Did and we, I can't remember what right now. Did we lose right a bit to time? I think so. Oh, man. I think the bit was maybe that like we were going to hang out later. and then it Oh, just, really? I, it was something like that. Good bit, How young you? young Connor and Vic. I mean, just brilliant. Let's try that. Oh, that's the battering? Yeah. Oh, very cool. Aim it. I like that you get... I noticed when you, uh, you get experience from even just knocking out those little teeth, guys. Yes. Chompers? I don't know what they're called. <laughs> Everywhere that madman goes, death is sure to follow. Okay, here we go. Also, just like the one-liners here. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, that cape in the wind. He's hot. He's a big man. Big little... Big and strong. Look at how handsome. His cape is gorgeous. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, you cut that out. Am I getting hit? Is that what's happening right now? Oh, I think it's... Counter is our square. There we go. Were you working on using that counter button? I'm trying my counter, but it's not... There we go. Huh. Is there, like, ice coming out of your punches? What is that? Ooh, no. You see that? Yeah, it's some sort of... Oh, you're uh, pressing... Oh, you're pressing circle. That's why. I think oh, that knocks. Square. I think that stuns him. Oh, how interesting! There we go. There we go. Brown takedown. There we go. Ah. Oh. Do you remember in this game? Because I feel like the majority of enemies I've fought are those guys, with the exception of like one little boss. Mm-hmm. Is it? Are you mostly fighting the prisoners through this game? Do you remember? Um, I think that you. It's the kind of, uh, and I could be wrong mm-hmm. on this. But you, you talk to Eddie. Well, okay, if you insist. All right, Eddie. Um, what happened? I think that it's Joker like getting happened. to those boss levels. To it's like fighting people Let's to get to the boss way. levels. Cool. Gotcha. And I could be wrong again. It's now been 
10 yeah, years. Goodness. Can you believe that? I didn't, one, think, know that game was that old or think it. And also, it feels really good. Yes. I mean, this is a upgraded, it looks like this is a remastered version, but at the same time, the one I was playing last night was really good. Yeah, I mean, like, it's still a little bit dated, but, like, story-wise, it's, like, pretty easy to get into. It's a compelling story. All the Batman stories are great. And in this in this one, it's basically, the story is just you, the Joker pulled a fast one on you, and you're locked in Arkham, and yeah. you have to find, make your way up the baddies and beat him. Fun, yeah. simple, cool. easy, breezy, beautiful. They do a lot of, do you remember girl. if they do a lot of, like, Batman character stuff in this in this thing. Yeah, I think that they do because you get to like you meet a lot of cool people, a lot of like. You're wondering where to go along the way. I'm wondering, can I help with this? At no, all? I think you have to go. You're like looking I for something dance. else. Yeah, Batman can dance, but he's not helpful. Oh, what a dancer! Yeah, I think at the other end of that hall is where I went. Who was your superhero like growing up? Spider-Man, um, but I wasn't. Okay. But that. Even that said, I wasn't super into. Uh, I think that's the way you came to. Yeah, um, you're right. You're I wasn't right. super into super. Wasn't super into superheroes. I but when the the Tobey Maguire movies were out, I loved Spider Man, and I would like uh, imagine myself as Spider Man, and I wrote a few short stories where like my secret identity was Spider Man. It was kind of like a Spider Verse before, like not Spider Verse before Spider Verse. That sound that says wait. That's saying way too much about those little stories but um yeah i love doing stuff like that there was an assignment i had in sophomore year english where for whatever reason we read this really long book and our teacher had us find a word i think it was a tale of two cities okay and she had us find a word we weren't as familiar with on that page and define it and we had to do that for every page so instead of and it was due at the end of the semester Whoa. so instead of doing that i did that for the first like page but then on the second page i started writing a story but would just like underline the first word on every line and do a colon so i just wrote a story in there and it was about how i like had spider-man powers and my other friends had other powers and we were just i just like and i turned it in and she ne she didn't read it that's but, so i got away with not. it what an yeah insane, like busy work assignment <laughs> yeah, that's that why i did it yeah what, what was your did you have a superhero you were attached to i really loved gay aquaman is that a specific Aquaman? Um, I feel like like the 1950s original Aquaman, who's like in his little sailor costume. Yes. And I have um, we uh, uh we had a friend whose dad worked at works at DC, uh, and he uh when we went there for a tour like gave everybody like he found out what everybody's favorite superhero was and then gave them something oh very cool uh and so i got like an old pinup version of aquaman yes so because they did like a series for a while of like all of it was mostly the female superheroes in pinup versions of them okay and then aquaman who's like shirtless with a trident in like yes. one of those little sailor hats uh oh my and gosh a, and a trident and it's that's I mean, the real prize out of all of those it's one of my favorite pieces of art that we have in the house so you and you still have that i still have it oh my god do you have it up yeah, I tried putting it as the star on our Christmas tree this year, and it did not work. Is it how big? Is this like a little tiny poster? It's a statue. Oh, maybe I think I didn't wasn't listening super well if you said that. That's cool. Tap L one for detective mode. R is look up. So it's the right stick. Okay. There we go. How fun is that? Yeah, the detective mode is cool. Okay. We can't so I yet. so up there. I think if you look up at that statue. Oh, there we go. You can go. do something with that. Uh, is this gonna be batarangs? I think you like l like sh shoot a, what would you call it? Like not a hook shot, but like a little grappling hook at it. Do I have grappling hooks yet? Yeah, I think you just have to step back away from that fence. Let's try and this. look at it. Maybe. Look up. There we go. Yeah, it definitely wants maybe if you center around it around in the environment for some important information. Where is my grappling oh. hook? Maybe if you can center yeah. that statue in the screen a little more. I think, and then maybe it's is it? Oh, oh, there we go. There you are. You're right. Uh, R one. 
There we go. Ooh. Ooh, baby. Oh, how cool is that? Like, it's, this is classic Batman. That's like his own little Spider-Man thing. <laughs> Condition nervous. This was my favorite part of it is where you can see people, oh, like wow. skeleton versions of people. I didn't even pick up on that I earlier. Know. How fun is that? R1 is grapple. Oh, and then glide. Here we go. There we go. How fun is that? Oh, Just the gliding fun. down. That's classic Batman. Oh, I think you jumped and he caught you. Mm -hmm. I think you're supposed to sneak up on that. Oh, guy. I think you're probably right. You were seen and a hostage was killed. Okay, well. Well, you know what? Some things happen when you're Batman. I failed my mission. I wonder where it's going to restart you're right. you from. I hope you're just in that out. room. I mean, that'd be great. Because now. Oh, yeah. You're yeah, great. Okay. Don't have to talk to anybody anymore. I think what you do is you grapple around the room on a few more statues and you. <laughs> From what I remember last Find night. Find a place to sneak yeah. in. I was really tired. It was 1 a.m., so I don't totally. It was a post mock, uh, post mock playthrough. Which those are usually great. Scatterbrain great, great, great. for me. Um, let's go detective mode. Ha ha. There's my little batarang. Oh, there's another one. These old gargoyles should be able to support my voice. Okay. There we go. Look around. Well, I guess I came down from that one last mm -hmm. time, so... I think there are more, yeah, oh, that way. Oh, yeah, baby. Hey. Yeah. There we go. Where... Okay, where is he? He's there. He's deceased. So I could probably sneak in back there, right? I think, yeah, I think, I think you do want to shoot to that last one. And then I think you glide over to him from there. And you, right. I think you hit him once and he might... Here we go. Got. Okay. Ooh. Glide kick? Yeah. Oh, oh boy. Oh, baby. Ground takedown. Should I fight him? And then... Oh, R2. There you are. Also, so violent. I forget how violent so the violent. Batman is. And look at... I mean... This is what's pro problematic with mm -hmm. our prison industrial complex. Yes. Look at this. We're having our, we're making our people also work as supervillains. It's a problem. It's true. And it's just sad. Oh, Harley Quinn. I read something very interesting today. Please. That obviously this is, a, well, this is a really small team from that production company who made this game. Mm -hmm. It was 40 people. And there was one guy who I read did all the motion capture, like, acting you so this is a this is a man who did the batman stuff he also did the harley quinn like everything i mean it's nuts i have done a bunch of mocap stuff really for, mm -hmm. that's so cool it's uh oh my gosh i mean it's very fun um but it also is just like kind of kind of tedious and kind of just doing stuff over and over and oh, over yeah. again because are they like looking for a specific action all the time or they want to just get a bunch of options and take a look at them later um sometimes a little bit of both depending on what okay. you're doing That's but really cool. i mean very fun not on this level i don't would you love would you like to do that for have you done that for a video game before mm -hmm. oh my gosh Whoa, I didn't realize we had video game industry on this podcast. Yeah, that's me, video game industry. <laughs> Vic Please refer game to me, industry. Vic video game industry. I love that. Perfect. It's perfect. Okay. Here we go, R1. Oh, no R1. Okay. Everyone's screaming at me. They are so angry. I can't super hear what they're saying. But yeah, I'm and I, assuming the they're subtitles telling aren't on me either. to walk around. I think you're right. I think they're telling me to follow my heart. My heart is telling me to go this way. That is the lesson in most I Batman stories is just follow your heart. So that checks out to me. They keep wanting me to go in detective mode, but in detective mode, it's kind of hard to tell. Okay, that's our guy who's taking a look at the box. Um... Hmm. Okay. Think back in that main room. There was there was something to do. Gotta, gotta check. They kept like flashing. It's back to our gargoyle. Why is that gargoyle flashing? Well, we're gonna find out. Oh, oh there we go. It. I remember this. There we go. He's so uh -huh. strong. He's so strong. Also, what a good workout. 
just tearing a grate off of a wall. Yeah. Very I mean, good. He is he is good. R two. Crouch. Pick up the Riddler trophy. Very cool. I do think maybe you do deal with the Riddler here. I can't really remember. Would you remember. press uh, that middle button, the like mm -hmm. pad thing? Or like you can press into it. Whoa. Or <gasps> How so, cool is that? So that's the map. Um, okay, so we have hard only hit the first little area. That's okay. I mean, that's pretty much what we do on this anyway. Can okay. I see that momentarily? Of course. I want to check something out that I noticed last night that I wanted to know. I, I wanted to ask you about. Let's Please. see. Please. Uh, that was the wrong one. Let's do this. Because I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm kind of the expert on this game. You <laughs> are the expert. I'm trying to find these, like, they have these character cards. Whoops. I don't want that. It is so wild. Like, it does immediately. It elicits a very strong emotion. I truly spent hours watching this game be played. Okay, now do you remember that. these? Do you know these things? Yes. Did you, would you read through these little character bios when you played? Um, sometimes. Yeah, I was, there's a lot of information. But also, like, how much cooler is that Harley Quinn? Than the one in the thing. Than the one in the game. Yeah, I don't know. And I feel like these models, go ahead, you can go ahead. I feel like these models, uh, uh sorry, these drawings are some of them looked similar but this looks wildly different from yeah that. that's so crazy and i don't five seven i don't know if it's just because she has more clothes in this thing but maybe oh but it looks like too because they're giving like first appearance mm. batman harley quinn number one so they're like going back to like actual history of these characters oh, wow. how interesting this, when I find stuff like this in video games, I'm always like, I'm going to collect every book and I'm going to read through every book in this game. Like, I don't know if you've played Skyrim, but you can, there's yeah. books in I that game. I haven't played, but I... But did you watch someone play that I too? I did watch somebody yes. play Skyrim. Yeah. Uh, well, you, but every time I go on that collection spree, I never read these things. Yeah. Because uh, I guess like, it's just a fun little Easter egg, mm -hmm. right? It is. Yeah, it's just kind of like icing on the cake, it feels like. Yeah, it's something to do once you've played through the game and yeah. you're, you're going through. So this is fun, cause so I guess, oh, Batarang. I think, in fact, we've already, we've been going for a little bit now. So mm -hmm. not to cut your playthrough short, you just got, we just got out of the tutorial. Please. But we, but that's what we're going to do. Great. So thank you for sitting with me on the video portion. Thank you for showing us the beginning of this uh, this Thank you one? for coming on this adventure with me. Hey, I'm happy to be here. Um, we will, of course, do plugs on the audio portion, but if you would like to plug any and everything right now, you can, or you could just save it. Um, yeah, I mean, like, uh, I'm an associate editor on a comic called Mariner. Um, that's yes. very exciting. Um, we just uh, are we fully funded at like this massive Kickstarter that we were Congratulations. working on. Thank you so much. So hopefully at some point next year, that'll be coming out. Sweet. So in 2020, keep a lookout. And then Harold Knight and Mod Knight, baby, Heck over yeah. at UCB. Heck yeah. We get a lot of UCB plugs on this show. I'm sure. And then also me and my um, good pal and collaborator, Patrick McDonald, run yes. this very insane account called at We Love the number two act we love to act yes um and uh i mean we, do i follow is that on instagram it's on instagram how am i not i need to follow that i mean it's like it's truly i missed i missed dentist wild. suck sorry remember dentist suck i remember dentist suck never forget. that was another uh, instagram vic uh used to collaborate on yeah yeah um yeah was that all you wanted to plug I all good so. cool That's thank it. you so much of course uh thank visit, you for having visit the website yeah you're so welcome uh, you can find us at callmebyyourgame.com or just search us on Instagram, uh, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify. Thank you and good night. Good night. I always say good night. It's I don't always nice. say good night. Well, yeah. I feel like this is a nice after work podcast. It is. Are you stuffy? <laughs> Me? Yeah. A little I'm bit. I'm definitely stuffy. They have a little AC. Oh, I thought you meant my nose. And I was like, oh, oh a little. Um, Thank you for noticing.